So after being off for a month, this this movie, Stephanie, is the one that you decided to come back with. Okay then, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap-up tier list, and you guys, I'm going to start incorporating just a little bit of game board content, not too, too much. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then consider hitting that subscribe button. Believe it or not, but 365 Days got a sequel, and it's called 365 Days This Day. And if that's not bad enough, there's a third one coming. So why did I decide to review this after, you know, so many other movies that I saw that I did not review? Well, I did review the first part, so you can check that out here. I'll go ahead and link it, or at the end, I'll put it on the end credit thing. So, because I did review that one, kind of like with Sonic, then I'm like, I feel like I gotta review this one as well. And then, like, when the third one comes out, I gotta review that one as well. What is this movie about? And do I recommend it? Obviously, you can kind of tell my take on it. Um, well, for those of you who do not know, this is kind of like a hardcore like more hardcore than like 50 shades of gray uh definitely falls within that spectrum of deal so if you were not a fan of 365 days or you just not 300 well obviously 365 days like 50 shades of gray then this definitely won't be for you because if you thought that was bad this is like 10 times worse that i feel like still had more structure to it i do enjoy the 50 shades of gray trilogy uh this right here is pure 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 garbage that i it, keep watching i don't know I don't know why you guys it just I don't know I did it but you wouldn't have to do it okay I'm sucking it up so I forgot their name Maximo and what's that other girl's name Laura remember Maximo kidnapped Laura in the first part and then they like fell in love and like a bunch of like sex stuff happened okay so they get married over here okay because you know the Stockholm syndrome I, I don't know what the movie's about I don't know yeah, I, you really do not get a sense of what the hell this movie is about till probably the last like 20 minutes of the movie. And the movie is only, let me tell you how long, an hour and 15 minutes. Thank goodness it's under two hours. But let me tell you, it's like, no, I don't even know how to explain it. So we kind of start off with like the wedding, right? But then it's just like right off the bat, like five minutes in, I think, not even probably five minutes in, we get a sex scene. But it's like a montage wedding sex scene music video and that's pretty much all the movie is is like just music video music video music video montage happening not a lot of talking you really don't get that's why you don't know what the hell the movie's about not, not none, none of that what what is talking i don't know we just have a lot of sex time going on here okay and then like i feel like they forgot what kind of sexy time it has as in like the bondage and stuff like that because that's what he was into in the first part which he still is into it here um because he, she gives him like a, I think it was like Christmas present, um, like a bonded, bondage part of it. But other than that, you don't see like no bondage stuff happening besides that one scene. Again, that's all the movie is, honestly. I'm going to tell you what happens because you yeah, do not need to see this damn movie. So it turns out that like his family is trying to like run him out of being like the leader of, I don't know, I think he's, is he mafia? Like, cart I don't know, what the hell. I don't, I don't even know because they don't really say anything, you guys. We have an evil twin brother. Ain't nobody talking to you google then we have this girl i think she was from the first part that kind of like messes with laura to think that massimo was screwing her at this party because she walked in and then she took off but it wasn't him it was the evil brother and she took off with who we thought was the gardener but it wasn't the gardener and then of course she ends up screwing him and it's like a whole thing she ends up kind of kidnapped again and it was all part of the plan of her, of him win win her whatever like to take i don't know you guys this all ha and all that really happens at the end of the movie. And then Laura gets shot. Boom. And then like Massimo's all like. <gasps> and they shoot the brother. Boom. And then like in the evil brother shoots him too. No, 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 no. He doesn't shoot. He just kind of goes down. And then Laura is just like. Is she dead? Is she not? I don't know. That's when the movie ends. She's like on the floor like bleeding out. She's probably not dead. Because it's going to be a third part. She might be in a coma for a while. It'll be like a montage of her in a coma. And she's going to come out of a coma. And then like Massimo's gonna like screw her in the hospital bed like oh I missed you. Before I give you my score which I'm pretty sure you'll know my score already. Don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Again I am 
I am back, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna be getting uh, quite a bit of content coming to you in the month of May. Also, May is my birthday month, uh, so we're gonna be doing a few like favorite videos as well. Um, all right, so um, 365 days this day is worse than the first one. I I mean, could it have gone any worse? Yes, it did. They got they got this, and I can just only imagine the absolute garbage trash. I don't know that the third one's gonna get because there's gonna be a third one yes um but if you are interested it is on netflix don't recommend it at all like don't put yourself through this music video porn type of movie like not even like the sex scenes were that great you guys like the 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 sexy time was definitely better in the first one with all that said i'm gonna give 365 days of this day a popcorn kernel if you've seen 365 days of this day let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you like it <laughs> did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you i'm curious who knows i mean they keep making these so somebody out there likes them. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.